just heartbreaking to see all, like, everything was gone and my neighbor was gone. Now it's four stories of heartache and heroism coming out of that deadly plane crash this weekend in Fairview. It is 4 o'clock. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Jeff Gianola. I'm Jenny Hansen. Agencies briefing the public today on efforts to pinpoint why a pilot lost control of a small plane that crashed into a Fairview home. Three people were killed, three homes destroyed. At the briefing, the National Transportation Safety Board confirmed the pilot had control issues. Multnomah County Sheriff's Office says it's still canvassing the area looking for evidence. And the Sheriff's Office says... It will not release the victims' names until remains are identified and families are notified. We are deeply saddened by the tragic loss of our three community members. And our hearts go out to the family and friends who are grieving this tragic loss. I have seen a lot of outpouring of love and support coming out to the victims, and it makes me proud to represent them. Arielle Salk was at that briefing. She joins us live. And Arielle, you spoke with people whose homes were destroyed in this crash. Yeah, they're devastated. They, not only did they lose their homes, they lost a close friend. Gresham Fire explains the plane crashing into a row of eight townhomes. In one of those homes lived Tom and Judy Keegan for the past 20 years years. Tom was home during the crash, recovering from a surgery, saying just before the plane hit his neighbor's home, he heard a loud noise like a propeller, then an explosion that sent him flying. He was able to make it out alive, but their neighbor and best friend didn't survive the plane crashing into her home. We've been here 20 years and they've been the same. They've our, been our best friends. Really. Our ages are the same. We're just a couple of months apart. We have the same things in our house. So much in common, you know, they were like instant friends from the time they met each other. We're more like sisters. I also caught up with their neighbor on the other side, Kim Williams. She was at the coast with her young daughter during the crash. That evening on Saturday night, I met up with her and she shared that her three cats were missing. Today, she updates me with some good news. They have all been found alive. Now, Williams and the other families have a GoFundMe page set up. Those are posted on our website at coin.com. Reporting live in Fairview, Ariel Salk, Coin6 News. Yeah, just a lot of heartache in that neighborhood. Ariel, thank you.